Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Have you tried everything to get longer, thicker and healthier hair and it's not working? This recipe is for you. You definitely want to keep on watching. So I'm going to share with you a really simple leave-in conditioner that will help you thicken your hair fast and also help you to promote healthy hair growth within the space of a few weeks. Of using it consistently so if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching now the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe guys will be some flax seeds these I got from Amazon flax seeds are high in vitamin E and these are great for both our hair and skin the nutrients help to promote healthy scalp by reducing free radical damage it also improves circulation around the head thus promoting healthy hair growth and slowing down hair breakage sometimes you're not noticing thickness in your hair because it's just breaking a lot or it's shedding a lot and essentially it is thinning out so flax seeds definitely will help you a lot with that now the next ingredient are cloves cloves contains high level of antioxidants and nutrients that can actually cause our hair to grow stronger and also faster they can be used in protecting the scalp from dandruff which is actually the major cause of weak and thin hair um, so it's also super beneficial to have that in your regimen now the next ingredient guys will be some black coffee so this is coffee powder a research in 2007 actually found that the caffeine helped to block dht which is essentially a hormone that has been linked with hair loss so they found that um, using coffee helped to stimulate hair shaft elongation resulting in longer and thicker hair so it is super super amazing and trust me using these three ingredients together gives you a really really powerful um, concoction that will definitely help you a lot when it comes to regaining thickness in your hair promoting high growth keeping your hair moisturized minimizing shedding super super amazing so after we've added that guys for this quantity of ingredient I added three cups of water and I'm just bringing the whole thing to the boil now you know this is ready when the gel starts to form on top just like you can see here and also your liquid has started to thicken um, so essentially you want to turn the stove off and then we're just going to go ahead and strain it straight away it's better you strain it while it's still hot because the process is so much easier guys you don't want any extra hassle so I'm using a wig cap to do this um, but feel free to use a tea towel or any other thing that you may have available Now after straining it guys, I realised that it still had a bit of the coffee powder in it so I'm going to go ahead and strain it again a second time just so I can get rid of that as much as possible but if you do have some left behind, it's nothing to worry about guys it doesn't really show when you apply on your hair and also when you wash your hair this will come out so it's not really... Um, it's not really an issue but go ahead and strain it a second time if yours is exactly like mine in today's video now after straining it guys you need to allow it to cool down because as you can see it's still really hot and once this has cooled down it now takes like a jelly like kind of consistency and it's super super amazing because it is super moisturizing and also very very nourishing for our hair and scalp so i'm just going to pop this into this little container so that i can use it and also i've got a cover for it so essentially i can just like close it and store it in the fridge for more than two to three weeks guys honestly this doesn't go off and it's still super amazing so stick with me in the next part of the video i'm going to show you how you can use this and talk about how often you should be using this to see amazing results 
Now, if you watched to this point of the video, guys, and you enjoyed watching so far, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my videos out and I would really, really appreciate it. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make lots of DIY recipes like this for hair growth and maintenance, so you definitely want to stick around. So in this part of the video, just like I said, I'm gonna show you how to use this and, and essentially talk about how often you should be using it to help you grow your hair. Now my hair at the moment is super, super dry. Um, you guys can tell it is dry, it is tangled, but it's clean though. So what's happened is I washed my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video where I used a temporary dye. So um, I essentially just washed that out of my hair and then I shampooed my hair, um, you know, just to get rid of like everything. And then what's happened is I didn't get the chance to um sort of detangle and style and all of that so my hair essentially is quite tangled and also is very dry because i did not seal the moisture in sometimes it happens that you know when you take off your hair you don't always finish it um just because you know you've got other things going on so essentially when that happens guys i try to style it as as much as I can like a protective style so so that at least I can go to work looking kind of presentable <laughs> do you get what I mean uh, and then obviously when I do get the chance then I can sit and and do it properly so I'm working in smaller sections here um I always recommend that you guys section your hair it just makes it so much easier smaller sections makes it faster and also you're less likely to um pose any break uh, breakage or any knots or even like get frustrated doing your hair sometimes if you're working with too much hair at once is a lot more difficult to manage and you can get so frustrated that you end up just whipping your hair off so always work in smaller sections so essentially i'm just applying this throughout my hair um, just like you saw here, everywhere from the roots all the way to the end. Now I'm using a butter to seal the moisture. So this is my moisturizing hair butter that I've got available on my website, um, naturalvanesta.com. So feel free to check it out if you are interested. It is super, super amazing. It contains shea butter, um, mango butter, and all of that goodness. It even has aloe vera in it as well. So super amazing. So I'm gonna use that just to seal the moisture in my hair. This butter is definitely one of my favorite and I use it on my daughter's hair as well. And literally, the moment you put this on your hair, guys, it feels super, super soft and it just brings your hair back to life. Like, it's super amazing. Now, notice how moisturized my hair is looking already. From that crusty, dry hair that we had initially, um, so I'm actually super happy at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and use my wide tooth comb just so I can detangle my hair properly. When you're detangling, always start from the ends and then work your way all the way down to the roots. Do it slowly so that you don't end up causing any breakage. Now look at how this thing actually brought my hair back to life like I just love this combination honestly anytime that, that my hair is like so dry so tangled I'm always thinking of something that can make my life so much easier when it comes to detangling and that's something that will give me a lot of moisture and slip in my hair as well you can actually see some curls popping through and that's just amazing so yeah i really really love this i hope that you guys can go ahead and try this out so after i finish that guys i'm just going to twist and then move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this i will definitely suggest that if you are to use it as a leave-in conditioner which is what i'm doing here so you, you're not to wash this out of your hair. So you're supposed to just use it like this and leave it in. Um, then I would suggest you use it three times a week. Now, it is super important that you retain moisture in your hair because that's what's going to minimize breakage. And also with the ingredients that we use in today's conditioner, it is also going to help you minimize shedding. Um, which will eventually help you to see the thickness in your hair. Now, flaxseed 
contains a bit of protein so it definitely will also help you to thicken your hair but if you have hair that is quite protein sensitive then i'll suggest you use maybe once a week instead of um, three times a week but if your hair generally tolerates um, protein then it's fine to use as often as possible because that will certainly help you a lot with growing your hair a lot faster and also in helping you retain enough thickness in your hair essentially now you can also use this as a pre-poo treatment which is something that you normally do before you go ahead and shampoo your hair um, so it's something that you can apply the same way detangle um, your hair and then essentially put a, a heat cap on so that you have enough heat um, penetrating your hair and then you can go ahead and wash this out of your hair so it's really really up to you the way that you choose to use it but if you are to use it as a people treatment I guess that will be perhaps once every three weeks or once every two weeks depending on how often you wash your hair um so i was just so in love with my hair like look at this <laughs> honestly look at how moisturized this is looking and yeah it was just it was just amazing and when when this dries up your hair is super shiny i also found that it did sort of dye my grays a little bit um so it kind of made it look a bit dark obviously it's not permanent um but it's good to have that for for a little while now that brings me to the end of the video if you enjoyed watching guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already i would really appreciate it and i will catch you in my next video bye